Hi students, I'm Sonia from Vidya Guru. Starting a new session on current affairs. This session is going to be for the month of June, June 2022. I'm talking about this session is going to be equally important as other sessions were. If you are going to attempt any exam, you're going to see at least three to four questions alone from this video only. That means this session is that significant. So watch the session till the end. I try to cover, I try to bring at least 50 to 60 important points for you in every video so that your time should be better utilized. If you watch our sessions, this is going to be the best session for you because the questions are that important actually. If you understand everything, you can press the like button. If you share it with your friends, they'll also get benefited because if they are writing any competitive exam, this session is going to give them some worth I'm telling you upfront. Subscribe to Vidya Guru's YouTube channel. If you do that, do press the bell icon side by side because that's how you'll receive the notifications of all exam relevant videos which we upload. This session is actually short in English medium primarily for our students from South India, primarily for our students from Northeast India like students from Karnataka, Kerala, you can say Assam, you can say Manipur. Students who are not able to understand Hindi well, we record a separate session in complete English medium for them, primarily for them. Okay, from here on, I'll be starting with the first question. Be focused and what I expect from you in return before I wrap up the video. You have learned all the questions. I really expect this sort of feedback from you. Please remain focused. You look at the title, which is sports tournaments. That's how we classify our videos. Topic wise current affairs we try to deliver. When you look at the first heading, it is about French Open. And when you look at French Open, men's singles is the prime, you can say supremely important question. Men's singles, which was actually which was actually won by Rafael Nadal. He's from Spain. His nationality is equally important too. So Rafael Nadal is doing it the 14th time that means he has actually in total won 22 grand slams but out of those 22 14 were french open only as you guys know that wimbledon takes place australian open us open there are you know other grand slam titles also i am saying in total rafael nadal a supremely talented fellow 22 grand slams actually won by him out of those 22 he won 14 French Open only and this was the 14th French Open he lifted. So he defeated Kasparad. He is from Norway. The names of runner-ups in singles, they are important. So please learn them carefully when I move to the second question, which is women's singles. You can see the name. You can see the picture of this girl, Iga Swiatek. She is from Poland. Iga Swiatek, she is from Poland and she defeated Coco Goff, that lady is from USA. So who won that? Iga Swiatek, she is from Poland. And Rafael Nadal, he is from Spain. These are the two winners of men's singles and women's singles respectively. Let's proceed with the next question, which is men's doubles. Okay, the important question which can be asked in your exam, which is men's doubles. As men's doubles, that's there. Two males are going to play and two males against two males and you know two males are going to lift the title the first person as in i'm saying the combo who lifted the title of you know men's doubles marcelo arevalo and the other male is john julian roger so these are actually two males who won men's doubles when you proceed with women's doubles caroline garcia and christina ladenovic you have heard the names of these people before as well because they are they they participate in almost all the grand slams and they won also because they are performers so christina ladenovic and caroline garcia these women lifted the title of women's doubles now we'll come to mixed doubles where a male and a female are going to you know play and this title mixed doubles was lifted by Anna shibahara <coughs> and wesley Wesley Koloff. So these are the people who lifted the title of women's doubles. When you proceed with the other title, yes, it is Hero, Hero, that means sponsored by Hero, Hero Men's Asia Cup. You can see the picture here and straight away relate that Asia Cup with hockey. South Korea won that Hero Men's Asia Cup by beating Malaysia. 
एसोसिएटेड विद द कप इज एसोसिएटेड विद हॉकी इंडिया डिफीटेड जपान फॉर ब्रॉन्स इन द सेम कप आई एम गोइंग टू रिपीट दैट आई एम रेफरिंग टू हीरो मेन्स एशिया कप इन विच साउथ कोरिया लिफ्टेड इट साउथ कोरिया वन by defeating malaysia and india also defeated you know japan to receive bronze in that same competition as the title was sports tournament i was discussing french open and asia cup here i hope you have learned the names until now you may have realized whatever i'm going to teach you that is important for you that is pretty much significant for you when you move ahead this is tata ipl If it is Vivo, it is sponsored by Vivo. If it is Tata IPL, it is sponsored by Tata only. You know that. So it was of fifteenth number. Fifteenth numbers Tata IPL actually took place this time. The results are there on your screen, and whatever is important, I'm going to teach you that. We'll start with the first point. I was saying fifteenth numbers Tata IPL in which. Gujarat Titans you know won that now you need to understand it was played 15 times and the, for the very first time for the very first time Gujarat Titans you know lifted it won that so it is basically the news that you want to receive winner was Gujarat Titans the runner up see Gujarat Titans defeated Rajasthan Royals Rajasthan Royals to lift that title so the runner up was Rajasthan Royals obviously they performed very well that is why they could actually make it to that level Rajasthan Royals runner up Gujarat Titans won it for the very first time now you need to understand if Gujarat Titans won that if any team see these are the names of the teams only you need to understand that i am saying if there's any team winning or lifting some title you need to understand the captainship as in the captain becomes important for you know that uh, particular thing so gujarat titans captain was hardik pandya was in news you know that so hardik pandya was the captain of gujarat titans gujarat titans that team which lifted which actually won tata ipl 2022 now when you move to the second question the second question or rather the third one orange cap is given for maximum runs as in the one the player who actually takes maximum runs if you don't watch cricket that much orange cap for maximum runs that is actually given for maximum runs and most valuable player was jos butler you can see the picture of this person as well see the identity of the player in ipl is that he plays for rajasthan royals or gujarat titans or some other team his his identity should be kept in mind like that only so jos butler he plays for rajasthan royals he won he he got actually orange cap and he was the most valuable player that is what i was trying to tell you this is the one part and in which we were actually talking about orange cap now we'll discuss purple cap you can see you know who's wearing purple cap he's chehal you can see yujvendra chehal he even plays for rajasthan royals but you need to know that even purple cap is given to the person who actually takes maximum wickets orange cap orange cap maximum runs purple cap for maximum wickets as this purple cap was actually given to chehal he plays for rajasthan royals when i move to the next question emerging player was given to umran malik and he plays for sun risers hyderabad these are the names of the teams who take part in ipl you need to learn that first who's winning that who's getting defeated who actually took orange cap who was given purple caps so all these questions are asked that is why i'm teaching you till now in sports news as this is the first topic of the day you need to learn all the questions sunrisers hyderabad umran malik got emerging player emerging player in ipl award when you actually move to the next question you can look at the face of this person he is ramesh babu pragna nanda he actually defeated world's number one chess player and his name is magnus carlsen you know that so magnus carlsen this was you know pretty popular these days you know that that magnus carlsen world's number one chess player got defeated by a chess prodigy he is 
Ramesh Babu Pragnananda. The name of this person is important. Learn that because somebody who got defeated by him has, you know, supreme, you know, importance, supreme value in that chess, you know, industry. We know that. Then we proceed with the next question, which is about Indian economy. Learn that question. Okay, it is about GDP. If you wish to know about some country, you should see the GDP data. As per this GDP data, how the country, how our country is performing, let's start it. Indian economy, GDP growth. We are going to talk about the last quarter, the quarter, last quarter as in quarter four from January to March. When you talk about financial year 21, 22, it was 4.1%. That is what they are declaring. The government is declaring GDP growth 4.1%. When you proceed with the second point, which is about GDP for the GDP growth for the entire year. How did it remain? 8.7% they are actually telling us. Financial year 21-22, 8.7% is the GDP growth for that entire financial year. When you move to fiscal deficit, deficit means we are actually at loss. The government is at some kind of loss. What kind of loss? When the spending is more and income is less, that is deficit. Fiscal deficit for financial year 21-22 of the entire GDP is 6.7% fiscal deficit when income is less and spending is more I am referring to the government of India only fiscal deficit keeping in mind keeping you know government in mind 6.7% of the GDP 6.71% of the GDP that was the fiscal deficit for the financial year 21-22 when you move to the next question which has even you know reduced per capita income it actually is measured annually that is what you know we can do so 21 22 financial year you have to just look at it carefully it has become only 91481 rupees i'll repeat that per capita income per capita income 91481 rupees only when you move to the next question, India's biggest trading partner in 2021-22 USA. As the country, as any country is there, they trade. India also trades with many countries. Now we are going to provide them some ranks here. USA remained our top trading partner. That is what I'm trying to convey here. When you look at the second question, which is about, uh, you know, a uh, second rank, which is that China has, you know, achieved that. Although we are not buying a lot from China, I don't know how come it has become second trading partner for India. When you look at the third, UAE, United, United Arab Emirates. Look at the question carefully. India's biggest trading partner. For 21-22 USA, second China, third UAE. When you look at trade with USA, in you know, when somebody asks you if you have traded with some country, you may have you know transactions, you know, to to actually uh, depict. I am saying 119, 119.42 billion dollars trade took place alone with USA, India and USA dollar 119.42 billion trade took place with USA. I was referring to India only. When you move to the next question. Now the title is appointments and elections. There are important rank holders. You all know that there are important ranks at which you can say that appointments do take place. And when you start with the first question, which is about Dr. Tedros Adnam Gebrisius, he is from Ethiopia. He got re-elected as WHO's Director General. See, it has been long and we are actually looking at this fellow. It's been, you know, long. You even know that during those times which were difficult for all of us, he was WHO's director general earlier as well. Even now, he got re-elected and I told you he is from Ethiopia. Dr. Tedros Adnam Gebrisius, he is from Ethiopia. He got re-elected as WHO's director general for five more years. When you look at the next question, new LG of Delhi, Delhi's LG is, you know, not there. He has actually resigned. So new LG of Delhi is Vinay Kumar Saxena and he is going to be the 22nd numbers LG for, for Delhi. When you look at new CBSE chief, Nidhi Chibar, new CBSE chief 
Nidhi Chibar, you can see the picture here. That even such sort of questions are asked these days. That is why I had got to add, you know, these questions too. So Nidhi Chibar has become new CBSC chief. When you look at the next question, you can see the picture of Yash Dhal. Yash Dhal, you know, is a performer. We all have seen that. Delhi's state icon for voter awareness. I am referring to Delhi's state icon. Yash Dhal has become that state icon for Delhi. For what purpose? For voter awareness. For voter awareness. So be it Nidhi Chibar or Yash Dhal or Vinay Kumar or Ted Rose Adnam. All the names are important. All the four questions are important. I want to tell you something. If you will watch the video till the end, each page is going to have three to four questions. That is how I, I try to multiply them. If I get 19, 20 pages for you, if you multiply, I, I remain very conservative that, you know, 50 to 60 new points you'll be learning. So please don't skip any question. If you are still watching, do press the like button for sure. Now let's move to the next question. Don't skip any question. That is the session is super beneficial for you. Now the title in front of you is books and authors. I am going to take the names of those authors as you know, usually I mention the names of those people who received some award as well. And this award of this repute International Booker Prize 2022 Booker Prize. Now the book Tomb of Sand. Tomb of Sand. The writer Gitanjali Shri and the translator Daisy Rockwell. You can see these two women here and they got International Booker Prize for the book Tomb of Sand. One wrote it and the other one translated it. Both writer and the translator received International Booker. It is the news that you will be getting in your exam. It is that important because an Indian is, you know, receiving it. When you move to the next question, listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. You can see the person Ruskin Bond and you know this fellow very well. I know that. So listen to your heart, the London adventure. You understand that if such a person is writing something that is actually going to be there in your exam, Ruskin Bond has come up with listen to your heart, the London adventure. It is going to be there in your exam for sure. Now, Bangla Academy Award to Mamata Banerjee for something for Kabita Bitan. Kabita Bitan for you know this Bangla Academy gave award to Mamata Banerjee because this was her book only. So I am saying Ruskin Bond, Geetanjali Shri or maybe Daisy Rockwell or maybe you know Mamata Banerjee. Their, their you know writings are important, their names are important. Please learn them because even I try to bring those questions only so that I can save your time. You will not be spending, you know, time in collecting points for yourself. Important days and dates. World Milk Day. We'll start with World Milk Day. It is even celebrated on 1st June only. As we are, you know, studying the current affairs for the month of June only. So we'll start with 1st June, which is World Milk Day. It is a significant day. That is why I've added it. In that topic, World Environment Day is even super important. The relevance is here on the screen. I've written all that. Let me read it for you. 5th June is the day when we celebrate World Environment Day. World Environment Day is celebrated on 5th June. So what is significant here? First, learn the theme. Only one earth. Only one earth. This was the theme kept for this year's 5th June World Environment Day. What other things I would like to mention here? First, the host was Sweden. I am saying something, you know, took place on Environment Day and that was a conference. Conference of UN on Environment. That took place, that took place in Sweden. But I want to add something here. That first UN conference on Environment in 1972 also took place in Sweden only with the same slogan, with the same theme which I've mentioned here. Now you must be thinking I've written Stockholm here and I am saying Sweden. Stockholm is basically the capital of Sweden only. So that is why I was saying in 1972, 
first un conference on environment took place there in sweden stockholm only with the same slogan as i've mentioned here and even this time with the same slogan in sweden on world environment day they started that conference because environment has to be you know saved and protected we all know that world no tobacco day was celebrated on 31st may and when you look at the theme for it it is an important day you can't skip that that is why i got to add it tobacco threat to our environment that it is tobacco threat to our environment so no tobacco day is celebrated on 31st may when you move to the next question banking and finance from here on those students who are writing you know bank exams please please understand that these questions are significant for those students who are writing bank exam but that does not mean who are writing other exam they can you know uh, miss the video from here on it is not that there are only 2 3 pages for bank exam students only but please understand that when you join our live program when you jo join our video program we actually teach everything of that sort in that course in detail if you wish to join us you know for the live classes you can the numbers are there below you can actually you know dial us to study from us banking and finance there on your screen look at the pictures first that's how you'll be able to relate that's how you'll be able to relate and i'll be starting with the first question i'll start with co branding please understand that in bank exams nowadays they wish to check your current knowledge what is happening with banks what is happening in the financial or banking sector that is what they wish to know from you that is why current affairs in banking they are super significant for those students who write any bank exam co branding of what sort now this is basically a credit card this is basically a credit card when you look at the picture you can see that retailio is there retail retailio is there and they are co branding you know uh, with hdfc because hdfc and retailio are coming up with a card co branding you know is happening retailio if you wish to know more about retailio that is b2b pharma marketplace just learn it like that because if you are not aware about the company if you are only aware of the co branding and all that is also not sufficient if i have written something please learn that what is retailio it is a b2b pharma pharma marketplace and co branded credit card with hdfc when you move to the next question to enhance digital payments mahagram ties up with indusin indusin is a bank we all know that so indusin bank with mahagram mahagram if you are not aware it is you can call it a rural neo bank or you can actually call it a fintech startup also so mahagram tying up with indusin bank to enhance digital payments when you move to the next point to offer upi payments rbl bank ties up with amazon pay to offer upi payments rbl bank ties up with amazon pay learn that carefully see when a when some sort of co branding is happening you need to learn that hdfc with retailio credit card mahagram for digital bank banking as in to promote digital payments they are coming up they are tying up with indusind and the third point was that rbl bank to actually offer upi pay payment they are tying up with amazon pay so when we move to the next banking news it is minimum net worth for non bank bharat bill pay operating units 25 crores learn that carefully look at the question i am saying minimum net worth of just just don't look at it just read it like that non bank bharat bill payment operating unit if you wish to be or if you are if in existence you are presently you are i'm saying non bank bharat bill payment operating unit if you wish to be that or even at present time you are that your minimum net worth should be 25 cr your minimum net worth should be at least 25 cr then only you can be a non bank bharat bill payment operating unit if you wish to be that or in at present if you are that you need to have the minimum net worth of 25 cr then you move to the next question rupay credit card by hpcl and bob financial please learn that it is also you know co branding which is there 
रूपे क्रेडिट कार्ड इज यू नो देर नाउ आई एम सेंग हु आर कमिंग अप इन को ब्रांडिंग नाउ बॉब फाइनेंशियल एंड एच पी सी एल वेन यू मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हेयर ऑल्सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नेटवर्थ इन दी अपर वन ऑल्सो वी टॉक अबाउट मिनिमम नेटवर्थ नाउ आई एम सेंग इफ शेड्यूल्ड कमर्शियल बैंक दे विश टू लॉन्च क्रेडिट कार्ड बिजनेस दे नीड टू हैव सम यू नो or uh, you know money in their hands to so obviously you know offer such a thing i am saying minimum net worth for scheduled commercial banks to launch credit card is 100 cr if they have net worth minimum net worth of 100 crores then those scheduled commercial banks come up with credit card business but if the same thing has to be done by nbfcs if they wish to do it they need to take the rbi approval for the same they need to take rbi approval for the same when i move to the next question okay a committee to review customer service standards in rbi regulated entities bp kanun go i was telling you that there are important questions for those students who are writing bank exams but please read the questions carefully they are super important learn them learn them bp kanunugo is the name of the person bp kanunugo committee that means he is going to head that committee which committee i am saying that committee which is going to review something what are they going to review they are going to review customer service standards and customer service standards where are they going to review that rbi regulated entities rbi regulated entities are there in which they are going to review customer standard service standards and which committee is going to do that bp kanunugo committee is going to do that when i proceed with the next question lic is new savings plan savings life insurance plan it is bima ratn see when somebody tells you bima ratn obviously you are going to easily relate it with lic but what lic is offering in which category they are going to you know come up with it that is new savings life insurance plan new savings life insurance plan is bima ratn by lic when you move ahead you can even see that this question you know seems important sounds important airtel payments bank to offer gold loans airtel payments bank as it is a bank obviously they are going to you know lend money and they are going to earn i am saying this time they are coming up with gold loans and gold loans in collaboration with muthoot finance they are tying up with muthoot finance airtel payments bank to offer gold loans and they are tying up with muthoot finance for the same muthoot finance for the same okay now let's come to the classification of state news now the topic is going to be state news we'll start with the first point india's first amrit sarovar opens in rampur up india's first amrit sarovar you can see the picture of sarovar as well india's first amrit sarovar opens in rampur up now what is the significance here read uh, under amrit mission 75 water bodies per district by 15th august 2023 see water availability is mandatory for every district we know that now they are saying in every district in every district they will bring 75 sarovars or you can say 75 water bodies i want to try you know i want to convey to you here only so under this amrit mahotsav and why 75 you all are able to connect that 75 years of india independence india's independence you can relate that 75 75 with that in total they'll actually come up with 50000 water bodies that is what they are saying but that will take time Till fifteenth August two thousand twenty-three, they are going to come up. They are going to make seventy-five water bodies there. That is what they are conveying here. So under Amrit Sarovar Mission, first Amrit Sarovar in Rampur, UP. Please understand that the places are going to be many. You can't learn them. You can't learn all of them. But the first one is important always. So you need to learn that Rampur, UP. First Amrit Sarovar has come up now. now the second one is free high speed wifi village panchayat in up i'll repeat that free high speed wifi at village panchayat in up the question is important you need to learn that at as it is village panchayat 
as it is village panchayat and there in up that village panchayat is there where they are providing high speed wifi so that is why they are important uh, this question is important number 1 sugar producer is maharashtra see uh, when you know you guys join us and when we deliver you know lectures on geography in our classes in our you know live classes or maybe in our you know video programs we try to deliver such points as well in which you need to understand whichever state remain the top producer that becomes important for you but that keeps changing sometimes some state is doing it sometime the other state is doing it this time they are saying that maharashtra remain on top it remain number one sugar producer number one sugar producer please learn that because such sort of questions are asked when you look at the next question free breakfast in government schools of tamil nadu please read that carefully they are providing free breakfast to government school kids government school kids in tamil nadu it is basically such an initiative that you should appreciate because for the same even poor kids are going to join schools free breakfast in government schools of tamil nadu let's move to the next question okay now we are we are actually looking at the heading that is international news pm attends quad leaders summit as the word quad is there you can relate it with quadrilateral that means quad referring to four so presently as four nations are there australia is there japan is there as you can see that you know uh, india is also the part india us japan and australia these are the four countries part of quad as quad summit took place at tokyo japan uh, you need to know the names of the heads of those countries i mean to say pm and president only so pm attends quad leaders summit in tokyo japan us president joseph biden joe biden as you know you popularly know him like that only so joseph biden us president learn the name of this person when you look at uh, japan pm where this quad meet took place quad leaders meet or you can say summit took place that was tokyo japan only so the name of fumio kishida becomes important for you because he is the prime minister of japan when you look at australian pm his name is anthony albanese so anthony albanese fumio kishida and joe biden along with our prime minister modi they attended they were there in quad leaders summit which took place at tokyo japan when you move to the next question india signs investment incentive agreement with usa india signs investment incentive agreement with usa when you move to the next question rajesh bhushan attended something at geneva what happened in geneva actually world health assembly took place as in world health assembly was you know there took place at geneva which was attended by rajesh bhushan you need to know that rajesh bhushan is the health secretary is the health secretary so he is basically the chair of committee b two t two committees are there committee a and committee b so chair of committee b is rajesh bhushan now i am saying this rajesh bhushan attended 75th numbers World Health Assembly, which took place at Geneva, as he is a health secretary, that is why he attended Health Assembly. That is it. Let's move to the next question. Okay, international news. India has rank on World Economic Forum. Please be careful while answering such questions because there are other nations which remain on top, and there is some rank of our country as well. So our country's rank is obviously super important for us. It is not World Economic Forum, you know, rank. It is World Economic Forum Forum's Travel and Tourism Development Index, in which India was ranked 54th. Please learn that carefully. I was teaching you that India's rank is 54th. somewhere where world economic forum travel and tourism development index 2021 where india was at 54th rank where first rank was actually of japan second of usa and third of spain even the order is important first three are important japan usa spain and india on 54th rank which index did i refer to i refer to travel and tourism development index of world economic forum 
now conference of party is 15 cop of un convention to combat combat means to fight what are they fighting desertification the land is becoming desert that is what they are mentioning that you know cop 15 of un convention to combat desert desertification at abidjan cote d'ivoire cote d'ivoire is the name of the country where this cop 15 took place please learn that carefully it is important actually important when you move to the next question related to that only it is land life and legacy that was the theme from scarcity to prosperity scarcity is lack of something paucity of something lack scarcity prosperity progress that is what they are trying to convey here the theme for cop 15 is super important it it is always asked it is always asked believe me so land life legacy from scarcity to prosperity that was the theme kept for cop 15 which took place at cote d'ivoire when you move to the next question shanghai cooperation organization shanghai cooperation organizations regional anti terrorist structure they are calling it rats regional anti terrorist structure of shanghai cooperation organization meet took place in delhi as it took place in delhi it becomes even more important for us when you move to the next question development projects are there look at these three pictures on your screen one is about ifco what is about ifco let's read that here world's number 1 as it is world's number 1 taking place as in happening in uh, india only that is why we have to learn that carefully world's first nano urea liquid plant is opening at ifco and where is that plant kalol gujarat kalol gujarat is the place where ifco plant is there ifco is coming up with world's first nano urea liquid plant only so ifco is behind it and the picture even states that wholly owned by cooperatives wholly owned by cooperatives and why this question is important because i prime our prime minister inaugurated this plant it is world's number one plant i am saying number one what world's first i mean to say that so nano urea liquid plant first first world's first nano urea liquid plant ifco is behind it and i'm saying our prime minister inaugurated it that is why this question can be asked in your exam when you move to the next question 9000 horse power 9000 horse power electric locomotives manufacturing unit read the words carefully electric locomotive manufacturing units of 9000 horse power here this is the outlay this is the money which they are going to spend on it unveiled at dahod gujarat two of the places be it kalol or dahod they are in gujarat only and they are coming up with different different things over there learn that carefully even the amount they are spending even the horse power behind that electro -lo loco you know locomotive manufacturing unit learn that please learn that because everything is important and the venues the places where they are coming up with the, these new things india's own hyperloop you can see the picture of this hyperloop here so india's own hyperloop being made by railways and iit madras india's own hyperloop being made by railways and iit good so the questions are important i hope you are learning them and you are trying to retain them okay when you move to government schemes now 2023 स्वच्छ सर्वेक्षण एट्थ नंबर स्वच्छ सर्वेक्षण वेस्ट टू वेल्थ इज द थीम फॉर इट वेन यू लुक एट द मेन क्वेश्चन हियर दिस स्वच्छ सर्वेक्षण कम्स अंडर स्वच्छ भारत मिशन अर्बन टू पॉइंट ओ एंड विच इज अबाउट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स आई रिपीट दैट स्वच्छ भारत मिशन अर्बन टू पॉइंट ओ विच इज बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स वी नो दैट under this 2023 swachh sarvekshan which is of 8th number is going to you know be there going to be conducted and i am saying the theme for it has already been decided for the next year that is waste to wealth when you move to the next question model schools to train students for future model schools to train 
students for future as per national education policy 2020 2020 i mean to say that so that is pm shri i'll repeat that pm shri model schools to train students for future and they are going to obviously follow national education policy they cannot you know go away from it so national education policy has to be followed so this after following that they are saying they are going to train students for future can you move to the next question pm employment generation program to continue till 25 26 we are referring to the years only so they'll keep providing you the employment ample employment till then so pm employment generation program to continue till 2025 26 and the outlay 13554.42 crores is the outlay is the expenditure this is the amount they are going to you know spend on this employment generation program let's move to the next question awards and prizes look at the picture here you can see uh, that i sort of thing is there in that award and what is that let's read it golden i award golden i award you can see and you can see shonak sen here what is he doing here and this is basically the kans festival obviously kans festival that is pretty much you know famous you already you know are aware but what you need to learn out of it that is what i have written here in just a point so that straight away the question is going to be there in your exam you can answer that i was saying golden eye award which can be called you can say loi door loi means eye door means gold that is why they are saying golden eye award at Uh, this is basically French. At seventy fifth, Kans to Shonak Sen. What has this fellow done? Shonak Sen's documentary brought him this award, and the name of that documentary is All That Breeds. All That Breeds. WHO Global Health Leaders Award, twenty twenty two. Read that carefully. This was a news. We all know that that everybody started suddenly congratulated congratulating Asha workers. So why were they doing that? Because WHO Global Health Leaders Award was given to ASHA workers. They are around one million women, you know, associated with it. And if you wish to know the full form of ASHA, it is Accredited Social <coughs> Health Activist. That is what ASHA is. That is what the full form of ASHA is. And you know that such a question can be framed, can be asked in your exam. Accredited Social Health Activist. That is the full form of ASHA. and these asha workers who worked very hard during the difficult times that is why they received such an award here i'm going to wrap up if you have understood everything you can press the like button if you could not you can rewatch the video or you can you know watch hindi video as well thank you so much for watching